Matt and I are about to take the Revel on its first Washington State Ferry ride. We are in the lovely Port Townsend, Washington right now. We just got done eating dinner with a couple of friends and we are going to head east. We'll probably stay the night at a campground or in the Walmart at Oak Harbor. This was kind of a last minute decision to take the ferry tonight. So we did not make a reservation and we happened to get lucky and we got the absolute last spot on the boat. I'll show you what the parking lot looks like. As you can see, it's not too full right now. That's probably because most people actually make reservations. We were sort of concerned about the potential price of bringing an RV onto the ferry, but since we are less than 22 feet long, we come in at, I believe, 19 and a half feet, then it was only $19. We'll see how she does. I think that was pretty smooth sailing. Uh, no major issues on the ferry. It was pretty straightforward. We made a couple of Winnebago friends that parked right next to us who had a Travato. And now we are headed to Oak Harbor Walmart to bed down for the night. slept at the Oak Harbor Walmart last night and we both slept okay. I think I slept a little bit better than Matt did because I took some medicine because I wasn't feeling too good. I'm still a little out of it. Um, and we are, where are we on our way to? Our next destination, we are going to head through a beautiful northern mountain pass. We hope to be in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho by this evening. The most exciting thing about that is there's a Cracker Barrel there. Since we both were born and raised in Indiana, well, technically I was born in Tennessee, it kind of brings back those nice nostalgia vibes. And whenever we came out here to the Pacific Northwest, they're nowhere to be found. For the longest time, the nearest one was in Boise, Idaho. But there's one in Coeur d'Alene now too, so we're gonna try to have dinner there tonight. Washington right now. We just passed a milkshake stand and they had a sign that said your milkshake may bring five boys to the yard max.
always interesting because when you go through the mountain pass, the topography changes so much. Take a look at this. You can definitely tell it's more deserty out here. And it'll get even more so. As you can tell, there's probably been some sort of forest fire. This is Highway 20 between Winthrop and Okanagan. What the hell did we just come into? This looks like Iowa. So we're about two hours outside of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And one thing that we decided to do was instead of take I-90, which is where everybody is right now, it's a Saturday afternoon. So as you can imagine, and it's the middle of summer, so it's going to be packed. But we are taking, we're on Highway 174 right now, um, which we got on after we were on Highway 20, which goes through the Northern Cascades. There is nobody on these roads. Uh, it's really nice and peaceful. And the speed limit is 60, which isn't that much less than I-90 anyway. So you're not really losing any time. It's peaceful, there's nobody out here. You don't have to deal with road construction or traffic jams or any of that other nonsense. Just a nice, you know, smooth sailing road. Um, and I highly recommend it. Show it there. Show Matt, it there. I know. something that I love about Washington it's how diverse it is this part that you're seeing right now doesn't look like most of the rest of Washington you've got ocean rainforest mountain very dense forest desert area and now you've got this kind of high plains looking stuff We're about one hour outside of the Cracker Barrel in Coeur d'Alene I don't know about you but I'm ready for some chicken and dumplings platter. I could eat. So we made it to Cracker Barrel and this is where we're going to eat dinner and sleep for the